Let me reframe the question then. When Terrence Crawford was fighting Errol Spence, like in the buildup of fighting Spence, you know, all the interviews that Crawford did promoting the fight with him and Errol Spence, did Coach Malachi do an interview with Terrence Crawford? Real City. Answer the question. You sound like you know him in his content. So that's why I'm asking you. We need answers. In the buildup of the fight between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, did Coach Malachi of True Media Today, did he interview Bud Crawford in the promotion and buildup of the fight with Errol Spence? Anybody in the chat, because Real City still haven't answered that question directly yet. Anybody, if you know, just answer. Yes or no? Real City said no. Okay, thank you, Real City. I appreciate your honesty. Now I have a question. Since the man, Real City, true media we talking about here, Coach Malachi, Coach Toby, he said that he's using me, his enemy, to promote him as a marketing strategy. I only got 6,000 subscribers. I've been on YouTube under one year. Coach Malachi receives literally, on average, a minimum of five to 6,000 more views than I do. Why he using a small fry like me to promote and market himself when he's friends with Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford been on a... Man, Terrence Crawford been on a media tour. Haven't he, y'all? He's been on... Million Dollars for Game? The Breakfast Club? These are two major platforms. He's been on a Joe Rogan show. He's been on a Business Leisure show. He's been on all these platforms in the promotion of the fight with Spence and even after the fight with Spence. Sway Universe, Sway in the Morning, he's been on that platform as well. Man, he's been doing a, a, a media tour. Coach Malachi said he need marketing and promoting. You cool with Bud, right? Why you ain't get your man to come on your channel? Why you ain't interview him? I'm sure you'll do way better numbers and bigger numbers and that's more of a better marketing scheme than using a guy who has 6 22,000 less subscribers than you a guy who averages uh a minimum of 5 to 6,000 less views than you don't you think your marketing strategy would be better if you had Terrence Bar Crawford on your platform since he is doing a world tour with the media answer the question coach Malachi hurry up we need answers why would you use manager Marty, which you don't even say my name, so that's how we know you lying. Why would you use manager Marty to promote you and work for you when all you got to do is pick up the phone and ask Bud for an interview? He's the unified welterweight champion of the world. I'm sure he wouldn't have a problem with you interviewing him. You was at this parade, right? You was at the parade, right? Coach Malachi, or why you can't get an interview from Bud? That's your man, right? Why you got to do all these tactics to use for nine, to use manager Marty, to use boxing ego, to use other content creators to market and promote you when you can avoid that whole marketing strategy? <laughs> Call Bud Crawford on the phone and just... Ask him to get an interview on your platform. I'm talking about in the buildup of the fight with Spence. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, great. Let me let me reflip that then. Okay, let's say Bud was on your platform. Did you ask him about the snack program yet? Coach Malachi? You didn't? 
Because Joe Rogan did. Joe, Joe Rogan asked Terrence Crawford about, about, the, about the snack program. Okay, you had him on your platform? Cool. Did you ask him about his new uh his newfound business approach? Now that he's now that he's learned the business of boxing. Business and leisure channel, they asked him. Okay. What about him fighting Boots Ennis? Did you ask him when you had him on your plan? Did you ask him about fighting Boots Ennis? You didn't? Okay. Million dollars worth of game. They they asked him. Hmm. Okay. You don't need me. I only got 6,000 subscribers, bro. What you need me to promote you for? Is that how your marketing scheme goes? You insult and disrespect people? Wow. You call people names at 50 years old? That's your marketing strategy? At 50 years old, that's the best marketing strategy you can come up with? Giving other grown men pet names? That's your best strategy, sir? That's the best you can come up with? I'm disappointed in you, 50-year-old man. You ought to have more wisdom than that. I'm just saying, you 50 years old, and this is the best marketing strategy you have. I would not use somebody who has 25 subscribers who only get 50 views to help promote me. I wouldn't do it if I got 6,000 subscribers. I, I, I wouldn't do it. But I know why you're doing it. So don't lie and say it's just a marketing strategy like this is a grand scheme. I'm talking about what you're doing with me. I ain't talking about what you're doing with nobody else. I'm talking about what you're doing with the small fry, the YouTube rookie. Me. Me. Why would you do that if I'm a fake manager? Just answer the question. We don't want to hear you do all this babbling. Answer these questions. I'm a fake manager. That's what you said, right? Why would I why would I use a fake person in the business of any industry to help promote me if they fake? I'm a fake manager, right? That's what you said. You wanted to know how many people will I manage and I'm not a real manager and all that, right? Okay, great. Why would you use me, a fake manager, to help promote you? I'm just asking questions. For the guy. We need answers. 